Hello everyone, my name is Anuj. I'm a second year MBBS student at GMC Nagpur and thank you so much for clicking on this video. And today we are doing a little niche specific thing, not the typical kind of things that I make on this channel. But yeah, I wanted to make it, so here it is. So this video is what's inside the bag of a medical student, more emphasis on every year of the college. So let's get on with it. So this is the bag that I'm using. It's a sky bag. It's got like three superolateral chains and in the anterior it's got a vertical chain right here. So basically this video is actually divided into three parts. The first part is the things that we use inside the college. The other part is that we use inside the hospital. The last one is that for special occasions. If you're a medical student, if you're in second year, so basically the timetable goes like this is that in the morning you have to attend your posting or clinics and in the afternoon you have theory practical classes. Okay and sometimes in between there are college events so to take part in then you gotta have some special things with you so with all of that emphasis I've divided into three parts and it's a very light video feel free to stay till the end okay let us start the college accessories that I have with me are basically of three types three or four types so the most important ones are the textbooks here are the notebooks that I use for college I usually like to keep them very minimal because uh, we've got four subjects in second year in addition we also have community medicine classes going on so using these three or four books I am able to utilize all the note taking that I need to do in class and we are usually encouraged in class in certain subjects that don't take notes it's all given in the book so it will just focus on the class so that's my approach for every class mostly that is to focus on what the teacher is saying rather than just to try to replicate what uh, whatever <laughs> is being taught right now so the first item these are the notebooks Mostly these are classmate notebooks and I've designed a customized cover for Pharmac one because well I love the subject itself and uh, yeah these are the ones which I use for note taking. The next thing that I've got is a pouch with my stationary items. One of the things that if any viewer of this channel is in 11th or 12th standard I would like to point out you have to have these pencils these are called as uh, H&E pencils so these are basically pink and purple pencils. Uh, whenever we stay in any slide in uh, Historistopath so we have to use these pencils to draw the images because the stains are of these colors. So just a fun fact, random fact. So yeah that was my stationary part. The most important part however is the iPad. So usually when I'm around I always always like to carry my iPad around and uh, still many of you have a question about this. This is the 6th generation iPad 9.7 inches I think with the Apple pencil. So you can see this when you have seen this in many videos actually right now. So the benefit of carrying an iPad is that it's the reason why I don't carry any textbooks with me at all because it's got all the textbooks with me all the time. So let's say I'm in the library and I want to study something from uh, hematology and currently I, I don't have that book so I don't have to walk all the way over and get that book or ask my friend I could just use my iPad which has all the books inside to quickly refer a material. So iPad uh, I think most of the people who are watching this video are familiar with how I use it and uh, actually I have inspired a lot of people to buy it so yeah if you want a video on iPad buying guide let me know because I really really want you to utilize this technology which is made for us so yeah this is the iPad which I carry there are a lot more functions of this I'll come back to that in a moment so when we are in the hospital we actually have to go into the wards let's take an example of medicine so if you're posted in a medicine ward or if you're posted into medicine then you have to go into the medicine ward that you are assigned to and when you reach there you have the group of people who are with you in that ward right and then what you do is that you go over the different uh, patients which are present in the ward itself and then you take the history and try to come at a conclusive diagnosis ki what is wrong with them and then you discuss the same thing with the seniors which are present over there so for taking history and for examining the pe patients right there we need certain tools so in the hospitals basically we need to carry a few things so the first thing that we take into the hospital is the stethoscope so if you don't know if you are a newbie then the stethoscope is used to hear the different sounds which are coming from the body so the one which I'm using right here is the of microtone so microtone is not the best company that manufactures stethoscopes the best one is Litman it lets you hear more range of sound than this microtone one but since we are juniors and we don't really get to interact that much much I have uh, taken this microtone and basically everybody has a microtone and um, 
people usually prefer litmen when they are like in the internship or when they have the most exposure it also says dr anuj pachel over here i'm not a doctor yet i hope i will be one day so that's my stethoscope another thing is this hammer so what we use the hammer for is basically we tap the tendons and we see for reflexes so this is basically very important when you are examining the central nervous system you can also open it up to reveal some other parts so this is a brush kind of structure which we use to assess fine touch in the subject and the posterior aspect of this hammer can be used for crude touch also here we have a pin pointed structure this is used for point discrimination etc so yeah one hammer multi purpose mostly for the examination of the central nervous system ki how your sensory and motor interplays are working so very important hammer we also have the torch or the light but since we are all digitalized we tend to use the mobile phone torches as it is so we use this for checking pupillary light reflex or uh, examining like the oral mucosa or something like that so yeah th that was uh, the tools and equipments that i take in the hospital apart from that we are always always compulsorily uh, asked to wear a watch because every single aspect of medicine relates to time and rate like heart rate or pulse rate so time is very important so i usually carry this watch from casio and uh, this watch my master gifted it to me so yeah and one implied thing over here is that all the time that we are in the college campus we are requested to wear an apron uh, with the gmc logo over here so this is the apron which i wear and i have got three aprons so i can interchange whenever i want another aspect is that sometimes when we are posted in surgical departments like obstetrics and gynecology or maybe surgery itself we are asked to carry with us something called as scrubs so these are scrubs so you might recognize this from grey's anatomy or something like that so these are autoclave scrubs that means they have been sterilized completely inside a pressure cooker kind of thing so yeah these are the scrubs that we wear uh, when we are inside a surgical department apart from that we also need textbooks inside the hospitals to have a reference of what is going on like some pathology we do not understand or some medical scale that we are yet to study so for that basically i use my ipad a lot of times but i also like to carry with me only one textbook whenever i am in the hospital that is this one it is algapman i used to carry hutchinson but i have shifted to this one so this is the practical manual of medicine and it has basically all the things that you need to know whenever you are in the ward so it is very very practical and very very useful for anybody going inside the wards it was actually recommended to me by one of my seniors so thank you for that apart from that we are also requested to have our id cards on us all the time when we are at the campus so so yeah this is my id card this is gmc nagpur id card So yeah i think that sums up all that is needed to have in the ward itself the caps and mask and gloves all are provided over there itself uh, another point i would like to add is in first year we have something called as dissection so in dissection there's a cadaver and we dissect it to see all the different things all the different structures in anatomy so for that we have something called as a dissection box so in the dissection box we have things like scalpels and then we have forceps so that we can efficiently cut and dice and slice to see whatever that's inside the cadaver so yeah so that was all that is required to like have a normal life inside college and hospital now getting to the more fun part that is when there are special occasions inside the college and that's the most fun part the fests and all of that so about one year ago at exactly this point i guess we had something called as gfc uh, so gfc is basically ganesh festival celebration in our college it's a very big event so i was put in a decoration group because obviously i lack every other skill so i had my trusty speaker with me so this speaker we used to sit in groups and like make stuff for decoration and this speaker i used to play music so it it's very good for socializing things like this apart from that when there are events going on in college like the one video i made about organ exhibition i also carry this tripod along with the mic and camera which i'm shooting this video on so i carry all of that to make a beautiful vlog which you guys love to see and last but not the least uh, whenever we are presenting something we also need to have our laptops together so this is my lenovo laptop which i have been using since 9th or 8th maybe so yeah this is the old laptop i would never recommend to anybody 
so we carry this uh, on very very special occasions when we are presenting something usually most of the things can happen through the ipad but when we need to project something so the easier connection is obviously this we actually conducted a quiz called as zenith uh, using this entire laptop so yeah so that was basically all a few other perks that i would like to mention is of course i've got my earphones with me all the time and i carry a nice pair of sunglasses so that whenever i'm driving i do not get that fast blowing cold air into my sclera so yeah that was all about the video and thank you so much for watching this and this is a very light video like i said it does not add much value but if it did please kindly hit that thumbs up button it would mean so much to me and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please kindly check out some of my other videos if you like them then kindly subscribe it would mean so much to me and uh, yeah as always stay safe stay healthy and stay happy until next time i'll see you soon So this is my ID card and I'm not going to show it to you for the uh, obvious tension of identity theft.